guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday, currently 1220, and I know that I said we were gonna dash early, but my main job, it ran over. I didn't get home till six. I had to get some sleep. You know, I typically get home around 445, five, and then I can at least sleep five, six hours, no problem. But today I got home super late. So I was like, you know what? I gotta get my sleep in. I can't be out here like driving all sleepy and whatnot. So, you know, we're back out here. Got me a solid six hours of sleep. Now it is currently 12.25. We got our first order here from Senor Ramon's tequila, not tequila, <laughs> I'm sorry, taqueria. Um, I think it was showing at 6.50, I think, or 6.25. 6.25, I think less than three miles. We jumped on it, it's raining, it's gloomy. We're, good. We're gonna dash till 6.30. So basically like six hours. So I'm gonna put my goal to be $120. I know that's not really up there or anything crazy or nowhere near what the goal is for the week. But I think realistically we missed um, early lunch, basically middle of lunch. So we're basically coming in at the end of lunch. And I'm not really sure what to expect from two to five. So I don't know. But yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. Uh, but yeah, and then I also wanted to say, hey guys, you know, if you guys see what's going on in the Ukraine, you gotta send some love to the Ukrainians out there, man. That's, that's gonna be tough. Can you imagine just waking up and then there's like, you know, sirens going off because places are getting bombed and whatnot. I'm not, and I'm not huge into politics and stuff, but come on, man, that Russian dude's been in power for like 20 years. Like, at some point, the man's gotta go. Anyways, that's enough ranting there because I don't wanna touch sensitive subjects, but I guess what I'm trying to say is just be thankful that we live, that we live where we live, and sometimes we rant about how slow it is, and then there's, you know, bigger world problems like what they're going through. Um, but yeah, we're about two minutes away from the first drop off. Let's go. Alrighty guys, we just got the first order dropped off. It was 725. We were making our way back to the town center when I got this order from the Bento house. I'm taking it because of the cash flow, 950. I think it is going like five miles, but again, hey, we, you know, we started late. We can't be begging for like low mileage, high paying orders. So today we're gonna do whatever we can to make sure we make some money. I remember tomorrow's video, well, the video that's dropping on Saturday, meaning my Friday video, we're dashing in a different zone. We're gonna dash in Tyson's from about 9 a.m. till about 7.30. I haven't dashed there in a long time. I think the last time I dashed there was for Christmas when I couldn't get on the schedule in my zone and I ended up going over there and I did the $72 order from Macy's. But I've dashed in the area in the past and I know you can make a lot of money. I'm just not a huge fan of the parking and it is a little bit out of my way from where I live. Not really, but you know, it's, it takes me like a solid 15 minutes to drive to this area. It would probably take me like 25 minutes to drive to the other area, but I think it'll be worth it. Plus, it's for you guys, you know? Uh, anyways, let me get this picked up and then we'll see you guys back on the road. As we got the food picked up here from the bento house, it was ready. It's just two bento boxes, I think is what they're called. So I'm not really expecting anything on top, but I'm already happy with the 950 as it is, you know? Uh, and then one thing that I wanted to mention again, I don't know why my app went away from the new update or whatever. When you hit decline, it was just low and that was it. I'm back to having to press, it's too far or the order's too small or the baloney. And honestly, I got so used to not pressing it that now when it pops up, I'm like, oh man, I gotta like put a reason. Come on. Like we all know the reason doesn't matter. The order doesn't do anything with that info anyways, you know, so. Anyhow, we got a seven minute drive to the drop off, not too bad, not too bad. We'll see you guys in a bit. We would have dropped off and it became 1075, so definitely wasn't expecting that. So now we're sitting at $18, two orders in, not too bad. Currently 1250, so hey, let's go ahead and keep this thing going. Remember, I'm only dashing until 630 because tonight I'm gonna go see Fluffy, Gabriel Iglesias, so that's why we're only dashing until six. And I had a couple days off I can take up at work, so you know, I'm, I'm taking today off, I'm taking tomorrow off, which is why I know for a fact that I'm gonna dash early tomorrow because I'm not gonna go to work tonight. That makes sense, you know? Anyways, let me get back to the town center and hopefully get another order pretty quick. We'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, we're heading to Chick-fil-A. I know, not the greatest place to go at 12.50 because they're crazy busy all the time, but the order's pretty decent, 7.75. I think it's like 4.5 miles, seven items. I looked at the items, none of them are drinks, which is a plus. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, again, I'm just taking it because normally I would probably decline this order because I know that I could get something better a little bit later, but time is against us. So today I don't have that luxury. So I'm probably gonna accept orders from places I don't ever go to. Except of course, no Dunkin' Donuts, no Wendy's, 
uh, because those are the places that I refuse to go. I don't care if it's super slow and they're like the only orders that I'm getting, I just decline them. <laughs> I'm not gonna go to Wendy's. I know there's a few people that have commented that Wendy's are, are really good in their market and I'm telling you, those must be the 1% of Wendy's in the whole United States that actually do a decent job. Everywhere else, Wendy's is trash. Uh, anyways, let me get this dropped off and it's starting to weigh a little bit heavier now, which kind of sucks, but that's all right. We'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, we got the order dropped off. It was just $7.75, but again, I'm okay taking that because we took it like this, the food was ready. It took me maybe 15 minutes altogether, so not too bad. It's currently 1.15 and we're sitting at $25.75, so I think that's pretty decent considering we started, what, at 12.30 almost? So yeah, I mean, regardless, it looks like it's really coming down right now and I feel like it's gonna be like this for most of the day. So I'm hoping that people order food because that's what I would do, you know? I would not want to be out here in this nastiness. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you guys on the next order. Hey guys, it looks like we're going back to Chick-fil-A, $7 payout, four miles, two items. And we're about 15, 20 seconds from the Chick-fil-A if it wasn't for this red light. Uh, but yeah, hopefully the food is ready and we can keep this thing going. Let's go. Hey guys, got the order dropped off from Chick-fil-A. It was also just $7, I think. That one was a high base pay and a low tip. I think it was like $2.50 for the tip. The rest is all base pay. Hey, it was just a sandwich and a fry, so they still tip $2.50, which is pretty decent, I think, when you really think about how much they got, which is basically nothing. Now, we're sitting at $32.75, and it's $1.35, so again, I think we're doing really, really good so far considering when we started, so let's keep it going. Alrighty, guys, so we're dropping off the order here from Chick-fil-A. We made it back to the town center. Basically waited for like five minutes, and then we got this order here from True Food Kitchen, showing 7.25, almost four miles, two items. I jumped on it right away because I'm tired of sitting, and again, we're running out of time, so I figured why not. The food was ready, we just picked it up. We got about an eight minute drive to the drop off. Let's go. Alrighty guys, we got the order dropped off from True Food Kitchen, it became $8, and now we're sitting at $40.75, currently 2.10. So let's keep it going. And we got about a five minute drive back to the town center. We'll see you guys on the next one. Guys, after our biggest gap of the day, we finally have our next order here from Chipotle, 625. I think it's less than a mile. We just picked it up, so let's go. Guys, after doing the last drop off from Chipotle, we made it back to the town center. We waited about five minutes, not too long really. And then this order came in from Pop Belly showing 625, basically three miles. A couple of items, the food wasn't ready. I think they missed it, because typically they're really good about getting orders together, but when I walked in, they were like, what order? So, I mean, it didn't take them very long, maybe five minutes tops. Now we're back on the road, currently 310. Let's go. Hey guys, so we got the order dropped off from Pop Belly, made it back to the town center, and then we got this order here from Santini's, uh, showing 675 for the payout. I think it's like 3.2 miles, maybe. We just picked it up, the food was ready. Pretty simple order, I'm not really expecting anything on top. Uh, but again, like I said, the clock is against us, so right now we're taking anything we can. And really, it, it isn't a lot. I haven't gotten that many orders that I was like, wow, I need to take this, or I should have taken this. It's either pretty decent or garbage, so I'm taking anything that's decent. So yeah, so I think after this, if we're lucky, I think we'll be a, like in the mid 60s maybe. So hopefully uh, we get more orders. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so we got the order for Santini's dropped off. We were making our way back, passing five guys. And as soon as I park, I get the order from five guys showing 625. I think it's like 3.5 miles maybe. Again, we're running out of time here. It's already 4.15. I'm only gonna dash till six because I gotta be home by 6.30 uh, so I can get ready and head out for the night. Um, so yeah, so hopefully, I mean at this pace, I don't know if we'll do 120. I don't even know if we'll do 100, to be honest. I'm hoping that we can at least do $100. Uh, but again, you know, it was my fault. I mean, sort of. I mean, I gotta, some things were out of my control. I got home super late. I gotta get sleep. I can't just get home and like, you know, wake up an hour later and like go out to drive and then be a zombie, you know? Uh, plus it's not safe and it's probably not good for my long-term health to begin with. Uh, but anyways, let me get this picked up and keep the ball rolling. Let's go. Alrighty guys, we got the food picked up here from Five Guys. So I asked them for a plastic bag because I don't really have them, right? So recently here in Virginia, there's a new law that passed. Well, the, the law passed a while ago, but you know, it actually went into effect where now um, if you go to a grocery store, they charge you five cents, right, for a plastic bag. So the guy from Five Guys is like, well, yeah, we no longer get plastic bags out anymore because of this new law. And I was like, I thought it only applied to grocery stores, which is my understanding of it. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure that it only applies to grocery stores. 
because I mean, whenever I go to a CVS, they don't say anything. Regardless, I wanted a plastic bag because it's raining and it's leaving my door, you know? He gave me another paper bag. I mean, hopefully it survives. Um, and I usually try to put it, you know, if, I, if there is some type of like, you know, covering for the, where I can drop off the food or whatever. Unless it's like pouring, then I'm gonna have to call him, hey, just so you know, I dropped it off. Uh, can you make sure you get your food as soon as you can because it's getting wet, <laughs> you know? And, very, and it's rare for me to like ring the doorbell. I don't ring doorbells unless unless it tells me to, then I ring the doorbell, you know? I, it's, I don't know a lot of people do it the opposite, but I do it this way. Like, unless it tells me, uh, unless it's specified that they want me to ring the doorbell, then I ring the doorbell. Other than that, I, I rarely ever ring doorbells, you know? Uh, when they have to leave at my door, of course. Anyway, so let me get this dropped off. We're four minutes away. Let's go. Hey guys, we got the order dropped off from Five Guys. It just stayed at 625. Then on the way back, we got this order here from, it was a stack offer. I think it was shown as 1250, I want to say, from Sweet Green and Chipotle. Uh, I think it's like less than three miles altogether. We jumped on it, of course. Two of my favorite merchants, the fastest merchants in my area for sure. Street Green and Chipotle. Both orders were ready. So that we're on our way to, to do the first drop off. Let's go. Hey guys, so we got the order dropped off here from Chipotle. I mean, both of them, Sweet Green and Chipotle. And then it being just as it was shown, $12.50. Now we're sitting on $81 for the entire dash. Again, the goal was $120, but realistically, I think $100 might be more uh, possible. And we got our next order here showing $6.75. So your most taqueria, I think it's like almost three miles. And then on top of that, they give me this stack offer that I think normally I wouldn't take it. It is a shop and deliver from Total Wine showing $8.50. I'm taking it because for one, it's just one item. And $8.50 is a nice cash flow and we're basically running out of time. It's already five o'clock, 5.05. I'm only going until six. So I'm trying to maximize my earnings there. But I think normally I wouldn't take it because I think a shop and pay should pay a little bit more since you are shopping, you know. Um, but for today's uh, purposes, it works. Anyways, we're about five minutes from the total wine we just picked up from Senor Mo's Taqueria. The food was ready, so hopefully, I looked at the items, it's just one wine bottle. I should be able to find it two minutes tops in and out, hopefully. Uh, but we'll keep you guys in the guys. So the order from Senor Ramon's Taqueria became, I think, $8. It was definitely higher than the six seventy five dollars that it was shown. Then we just got the order dropped off here from Total Wine. Super nice lady. I guess she forgot to order something from her other Total Wine order. Uh, but she tipped, I think, $4.50. And then the base bill was also $4.50, I think, or $4. Uh, but hey, that's pretty good tip considering the bottle only costs like $13 or whatever. Anyways, now if I'm not mistaken, we're sitting around like $98 and some change, like super close, right? And I was about to end my dash because the way that the, the last order like ended, meaning like where it dropped me off, sorry, I can't even think right now. The way, the way, where it dropped me off is pretty much almost like on my way home. So I was like, you know what? I might as well just call it a day because by the time I get to the town center, it'll be six o'clock. And I'm only dashing until six. And then when I was about to end my dash, we get this order here from this Papa John's. It's a different Papa John's. I don't always go to. I honestly forgot it even existed. Uh, Seven dollars. I think it's like less than three miles. So we're gonna go ahead and pick this up. And this order will put us over the one hundred dollar threshold. And then we're gonna go ahead and call it a day so we can get ready and go watch Fluffy. Let's go. Alrighty, guys. So we get the order picked up here from Papa John's, and the guy gave me two boxes, right? And I, I mean, on my screen it says I'm the number of items, but I was looking at to make sure the name was correct and then it says like one out of two or you know, how many items, right? And then I look at the total, it says $52. They only have a large pizza and I think some breadsticks. Like that seems really expensive to me unless they put like a bajillion toppings on this thing. I don't know. Anyways, we got the food picked up. It's actually gonna work out even better for me because it's actually going in the direction of my house. So they're basically going away from my zone. Uh, it's fine, you know, it's gonna, it works out perfectly fine. After this, we're, we're gonna go ahead and call it a day. We got about a four minute drive, let's go. Alrighty guys, we just dropped off our last order of the day from Papa John, so let me fix this real quick. It ended up being $12.07, so maybe it was 52 because it included my tip, I don't know. But hey, super nice lady, we'll take it, we'll take it. Now we're gonna finish today's dash at $110 with 82 cents, which is actually really good considering we started at 12.30. And, you know, we just did the best we could to stay busy. Uh, now for the entire week here, we're sitting at 300 and, sorry, $38.98. 
not the greatest. <laughs> the goal is $1,000 for the week, and we got, what, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, three days left. And tomorrow's gonna be a special kind of dash because we're dashing in a different zone. We're gonna, we're gonna go to Tyson's, which is supposed to be a lot busier than my zone. Uh, so hopefully it all works out. We're gonna be there bright and early. I'm probably just gonna go hang out by the Pete's Coffee and Silver Diner, since I know those are pretty popular breakfast places. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, thank you all for coming on this short edition of my dash. <laughs> We're going to go see Fluffy tonight. I'll let you know how it is. You guys stay safe. Take care. Peace.